Starting off day number two in Philly with a disaster. That came from up there and was knocked down by that. What's good, YouTube fam? So I'm here in Philly, my second day. We're unloading the U-Haul, and like I said in the beginning, it didn't start out so well. So we were back in the U-Haul truck up, trying to get it into the bay doors, and I was checking it out to see if it can clear the brick height, and it could, but I didn't take into account the low-hanging board. It had the little plastic shutter-type deals over it, and we knocked it down. Let's put my boy Q in a bad mood, which is understandable because it may cost us some money. So we'll see how it goes, but right now, priority number one is getting all of that into one of those. Let's get after it. Yeah. yeah. Huh? We're done. U-Haul is unloaded. We gotta put just the last couple things in the storage unit, then we can go eat. I'm so excited to try these cheese steaks. So we finished with our move and now we're off to get food. A guy that I trained back home was born and raised here in Philly. He said that Pat's and Geno's are like the tourist places and that if you really want a good Philly cheesesteak, you need to go to D'Alessandro's. But I've asked a couple of people since I've been here and they keep saying Chubby's. So I'm gonna try both. So we decided to go to D'Alessandro's, the reason being that they're packed out. We're outside of it now. We have Chubby's across the street over there and they are, they are dead. So we just got a D'Alessandro's with peppers and onions. What do you think? Well, here it is. Let's uncover this bad boy. I'm end up knocking your drink over by mistake, bro. Alrighty. Della Sandro's feet, cheesesteak, some chips, and a sun kiss. Now, for my first taste of a true Philly cheesesteak. Whoa, that's hot. All right. It was hot, but it was good. <sighs> so, just left D'Alessandro's, and uh, I, oh, I really underestimated the size of a Philly, Philly cheesesteak. Rather large. I ate half of it, and I am stuffed. But I don't have a huge appetite anyway. Um, you know, earlier I said that Chubby's was dead, but my buddy brought up a good point. It didn't look like it was open, so maybe it's more of a evening nighttime deal but either way delisandro's lived up to the hype or delisandro's however you pronounce it. it was wonderful i wish it was a place like that in little rock i would eat at it probably once a week Whew, but you could definitely share one of those um i'm excited to try gino's and pat's out because i heard if you order it wrong they'll send you to the back of the line and if you take a gino's inside of pat's or a pat's inside of a gino's People have been physically assaulted over that. That is crazy. People are serious about the cheesesteaks up here. But, ooh, I need a shower and a nap. That's what I really need. Ooh, that shower was much needed. We are officially done with everything that we need to do up here work-wise. Um, I've basically been working all week. Well, since Friday. I mean, uh, Thursday. Helped them pack up on Thursday. And then we... Uh, 
Drove the... Yeah, we packed up on Thursday. Drove the U-Haul to Memphis on Friday. Had a soccer tournament on Saturday and Sunday. And like some fools, we went out on Saturday night and then get home to like 4.30. Had a game at 7.30. So that was terrible. Got up Sunday, drove halfway. Finished the rest of the drive yesterday. Unpacked everything this morning. Now, I did get my first taste of a real Philadelphia Philly cheesesteak, and it was awesome. It was awesome. Della Sandra's, I think, yeah, Della Sandra's is great. I can't wait to try Chubby's. I have to try Pat's and Geno's. We have a strategy for that. One of us is going to go to Pat's, one of us is going to go to Geno's, then we're going to get them to go, then we're going to do half and half so we don't get physically assaulted by anyone. Now I'm just going to do a little bit of laundry and lounge around for a little bit because my buddy Q had to go to work. Um, so I'm just going to chill and watch a little Netflix till he gets back. I need a little rest anyway. Then tonight we're probably going to move around, just walk around because everything is literally across the street from us. It's wonderful. Um, right now I'm about to go do laundry and I don't know if y'all noticed these steps behind me. They're insanely skinny and they spiral up and there's three sets of them. So I have to go down to the basement to do laundry. I'll show y'all that in a second. I have to carry all these clothes. So I'll show it to you after I load up everything. Now I'm going to show y'all the basement. Look at these stairs first off. Super skinny. I mean, look at my foot. I wear a size 9. On the fat end, my toe hangs off. If you mess around and step over here, you're going to fall. Spirally. I have to duck to clear the headboard thing. because. But once we get down here... Look at this. I mean, maybe I'm just not a city guy. But this definitely looks like the stuff off a horror movie, man. I mean, definitely. I don't know. It's a little creepy. But I'm just going to do my laundry and get out of here. If y'all never see or hear from me again, just remember I was attacked and killed by something in the basement. I'm probably possessed here in Manioc, Philadelphia. I mean, Manioc, Pennsylvania. Duh. Philadelphia is a city in Pennsylvania. So now it's time to head back up. I'll give you a quick peek at where I'm staying. My Airbnb is actually pretty cool. Everything here is like for space. So everything is like squished in. Whereas in Arkansas, you got space. Everything is spread out farm style here. It's all squished in and built vertically. I'll give you a quick peek. Living room. The door has a, a security code on it that's pretty cool. I want one. Dining room, kitchen. Creepy murder horror movie basement. First set of stairs. Bathroom. Their closet, their bedroom. Last set of stairs. Office. And finally. Our room. Hey, my buddy have to share it. We got an air bed though. Pretty cool. Pretty nice. Very simple. Whew. Now I can relax till later. I'm all rested up. Got showered, cleaned up, did some laundry and changed. Now we're out walking around. One of my favorite things about here is how close in proximity everything is. Across the street is all the businesses, all the restaurants. Sorry, keep up. My nose got a sneeze. So. That'd be one of the cool things about living here. The ease of access to everything. I mean, literally, we're like a block away from the house and like all of these are pubs and restaurants and businesses and blah, 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 blah. So that's pretty cool. You can go get messed up or have a great meal and just walk around the corner to the house. So that's pretty cool. So right now we're about to find out something to eat. Might have a beer or two. And I'm gonna call it a night. Later. Later.